position at the Adventurer's Guild. The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion i stand before it alone and unchanging alone and unchanging be a good streamer and tweet out the live links Oi, oi, oi. I forgot to get water. Inactivity serves no purpose. Let me get some water. Back. is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water, transitory. Okay, 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 we're back. Back, back, back. Maris Ray here, Water Dragon Extraordinaire, back with another Genshin Impact live stream. So, as you know, this past like week or so, we've been heavily working on Mona. Caught her up from 70 to 90, got her Wed Sithva from level 1 to 90 as well. Now, I'm just gonna get some artifacts. 
some beautiful artifacts for her, we'll be good to go. We're, we're well on the path to getting that as well. That's what we're going to be doing today, as a matter of fact. Of course, ooh, the, this reset, we could do that today as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm just going to keep my CPU temps up as well. Monitoring them today to see if there's anything out of the ordinary or perhaps something that I I could personally be doing to keep them in line. Of course, the other thing I mentioned is that I had to lower some of the overall quality of my stream in general just to help accommodate the my CPU for now. I did get the cooler yesterday, I just haven't had time to set it up yet. We'll be setting it up today, though. Don't you worry about that. After the after a stream today, I will cut stream a little bit short so that I can do that. Okay. Let's do. Let's see. Shouldn't we just do some type of? Type of something. At this point, wouldn't it just be better to? Uh, I think I was totally fine with just doing Shincho Yelan. I used the healer last time, but I could probably just use Jomli. A walk would be nice. A walk would be nice. Perfect. Now we just get it. Get her done. Could be considered light work as well. My apologies. Good. Oops. I don't have any fenced resins. Let me go make some. I forgot. I'm down to spend a little bit of fragile resin today. We are totally will be totally fine doing so. I won't have any problem with it. Gotta use them eventually, right? Let me just go ahead and crack a few of them. Where are they? Oh, first of all, let's use this. Let's use four. this way like mentioned we can we'll see exactly how much we can get done in one day I don't know so maybe we can even get her a completed artifact set today wouldn't that be nice this is an artifact domain that I really don't mind doing all that effort into because I think Emblem of Severed Fate is going to be relevant for a long time. Let me suck 
the Lancer. Baby, high roll, high roller, high roller, let's go. Yo, I thought that wasn't that good. I thought I saw crit damage, but I didn't. Not bad. Let's see. Come on, big artifacts. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nope. Nopers. Take a good luck drink of water. Yeah. Water be the source of life. Therefore, it does make me quite happy. You didn't just shoot Salencer backwards. slower than usual, but that's okay. okay. Almost good, but it's not. So, what do you guys think of the border I made yesterday? I've been thinking I probably need to put a little bit more flair and pizzazz into my stream. I've realized I, even though, you know, I could stream as much as I want, but if the uh, effort doesn't resonate with you guys then it's like nothing even happened right I love Yelon. I love her. I love her so much. Getting absolutely trashed in the artifacts, though. So, with the temporary, like, setting adjustments I've made, even while streaming, my temperatures are only at 80 right now, which is not that bad. Yeah. 
Come on, I gotta get something good at some point, right? Maybe not. Maybe I'm not owed anything. Good shame. Good soup. Okay, craft five more. And we will use all five of them again. I gotta be able to get a good artifact. Look, let me see. I forgot what artifacts I need specifically. So this is like pretty good, good ish, good in theory. This is good enough. I'm like just okay with uh, 20 crit value at least. Oh wait, this is an evil mine. This is... These are what I need to find for her. I need an energy recharge one. I can't find it. Compared to her pearl cage, which is promising at the very least. Yes, which is also at best promising. So I need to get her a decent sands and a decent feather. And I just hope that the upgrades can take it from there. Keep them permafrozen. <laughs> Can't even really fight me back. Well, it wasn't even that much longer than normal, even though I absolutely blew it. Come on, big artifacts. I need a big winner right here and now. Nope, nope. I only ever get these two. What is that all about? I don't need sands. I mean, I guess if I get a, like a strong, like like really strong, uh, A really strong. Oh no, Sans is what I need. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm having I'm having a breakdown here. Uh, it just didn't really seem like Sans is what I needed when all I've been getting is defense percentage. But I'm sure. Sure, you saw that one coming, huh? I stream feel like it's really doing any much. Gotcha. 
witness the power of Hukwa. Lun does so much damage. Bad feather. I wish I could guarantee, like, like just be able to 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 like hunt a specific artifact set that would make the things are a little bit easier. I'm sure that's a wish and a dream for some people, but. What does the shatter keep breaking him out of it? What? Don't really get how that works. No space left. Well, we're just gonna have to upgrade some of the stuff that she already has. Let's. I think I'm, for the most part, okay with this for now. So let's just upgrade this. Fingers crossed. I get another crit value roll on the last upgrade to twenty. Come on, big ups, big ups. Come on, baby. Come on, make it huge, make it huge. Oh, you know, energy recharge is not bad either. It's not great, but it's far from bad. Okay, let's uh, give her... Or let's 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 do the circlet for now. Just eat up all these bad artifacts. Okay. Eat up the four costs. Come on, can I get crit damage one time for the one time? Oh, yo, let's go, baby. What a ratio. She's looking mighty funny. Come on, give me the god feather and god sands right here and now. Uh, there's some potential. There's some potential there. It could roll crit rate, and then I could... We can maybe see something, something going on there. We might have Mona on a decent set by today. Dude. Who knows? My soul. Big feather, energy recharge sounds. Defense. Who would have guessed? Who could have guessed? You know, I can't tell. Do you think I look fine at the top left, or do you think I would look better at the bottom? I'm, I'm just not sure. Busted. 
Did that a little weirdly. Need a few extra seconds because of it. He hold up. That's a nice one right there. Okay, let's see if her feather has any potential. One of separate bait. Okay. This is the only one that has any signs of potential. I'll just take it to 4, see if it gets crit rate. If it's not crit rate, we just go next. On the feather. Ah, disgusting! It's disgusting! None of these are Hydra bonus either, right? I feel like if I was to be able to roll a Hydra bonus, then I could be a bit more flexible with that set. But I haven't, so I can't. I wonder if there's an attack set that we can hit. Grab with these. Hey, whatever. I'm unsure if I should keep going. I know you probably are wondering, like, well, if you're not gonna keep going, then what the hell are you ever gonna use? Uh... Your fragile resins on. And to that measure, I could tell you confidently. I don't know. Look at all these new songs that have opened up. What happens if I end up using some? It's not like it's the end of the world, right? I just want to try to get her artifact sets going. Then I could throw Mona into the Spiral Abyss. Wouldn't that be so great to be able to do together right now? Okay, I convinced myself. Uh, let's see. Let's use two of these. That way I can craft four more. Try that much for now. We'll see. Because any one of these dungeons could be the dungeon where I just jackpot it. And then I'm all good in the hood from there. Nah, I mean.
Goodness, that damage. It fools me every time. Come on, come on, give me a strong feather, strong feather. With a nice big energy recharge fans. Oi, what is this? What is this? Why can't I have this on this set? Oh, just to add it. Insult to injury, these are defensive, anyways. Yeah. Got some weeklies done. Cash in on those, of course, of course. I gotta do what do I gotta do give it to me give it to me now eh, burger. how am I supposed to get any decent artifacts when it just gives me dog shit artifacts mm -hmm. I get excited seeing Galon's damage every time. Every time it gets me all the way hyped up. Wait for me to make this go a piece. What's this? Defense. Or would it be anything else? Why would it be anything else, I ask you? You gotta give me at least one. At least one strong artifact. Right? Come on, give it to me. Just give it to me. I want it. Not a bad flower, but 
No feather in sight. Okay. Well, let's have some theoreticals then. What happens if I just give her... I mean, Mona has to have... This is the problem. She has to have energy recharge here. Because she relies on it. She has a burst cost of what's what's the how do I how can I see how much her burst costs? Sixty. I, mean, I guess she could almost get away with the energy recharge that she has, so long as I always uh, use Venti alt on her alt. That, does that even make any sense? I'm not even sure. Dog shit artifact after dog shit artifact. How am I supposed to be happy with this? Good goodness, Monus, just so something special, huh? I I really want to use Mona in my party today. So I'm gonna go use more fragile resins. I wanna be done with Mona so that I can move on to somebody else. I don't know who else would be on the list. But I'm thinking it's possibly Chi Chi, maybe Fischl. Could always do Jean, but I probably won't. Oh, I could do Ketchin, huh? Because she is C2. Houses, recasting, stellar, restoration. That just makes me do an electric blink attack. Okay. It just gives me the ability to use my ult more often. This is good when side pairing with another electro character, I guess, who relies on ultimates. Who would I pair catching with, though? I feel like it would probably be... Hmm. Let me see, what characters do I have that's cryo? So, Ketchin probably goes with... If I had to guess, it's probably Kaya? They could be Choin. Because I do have him C6. Uh, or I guess even just Ganyu's fine, considering. But then that would require me to put her back on her burst build, which, surprise, surprise, would mean I would need to give her energy recharge as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit torn on that matter. This did let me craft three. We'll just do three at a time to This is the easiest for me to keep track of. And it evens out nicely.
one. That's damage. Another? Oh, so close to being usable. I might even still try with it, but I don't know. I'll have to see. Okay, let's try this one out with a jade parcel. Because I have a feeling that with the Jade Parcel, I'm going to do Giga damage. right there. It was still fast, but also understand that it, it did take me time to turn on the Jade Parcel. And I kind of messed up a, a little bit. And so those things actually take into consideration. So let's do it even faster. Why does my, my yellow one heal a little bit randomly? didn't feel much faster either. 53, I mean, we saved 5 seconds on average then. That's like not, not that bad. Jeez. I'm almost down to just... Let's, let's check on this new feather I got. That feather was looking... Suspiciously okay. Oops, I didn't mean to actually equip it. If it rolls, because realistically, if, ro if it rolls without any of those, I mean, of course, I want it. To, I want it to roll only at the crit rate. But let's see. Energy recharge. I could almost still work with this. At least to start. And I'll take it to 12. If it doesn't roll into crit rate a single time... What does it roll into? EM? Yeah. It's not... It's not really that good, to be honest. Defense? Oh, this... Yeah, this feather ended up trash. Ah, that's such a shame. Nope, we're going back to spend three more.
Um, I guess I meant to spend two in craft three, but you know, here we are, I guess. In this. My buddy, don't know who you are, I don't have your time for you right now. I'm on a bit of a farming spree. See, my Yolan's HP just randomly went up. Oh, is it because it's taking into account her passive? Is a, that was a fast one. Must have been 40 seconds, right? 46? Shoosh! Yes, sir. I knew that that was a fast one. All the stars aligned for that one. Look at this. What, what am I supposed to do with this? Huh? What am I supposed to do with that? Give me my artifact set. It's so lame. Lost a little bit of time because I couldn't locate him fast enough. It's gonna be 50 still. Yeah, shoot. I knew it. Bro! Why am I only getting Shimanawas? Bro! How to do be better than that? You got it. K on an E, that's such big damage. I haven't gotten a single <laughs> se severed fate piece in three condensed resins. Are you kidding me? I, I know what is happening. It's because I'm about to get the both of the god pieces right here, right? Come on, baby, I know I can feel it in my bones. Feel it in my bones. Just overall a weird run, but we're still getting it sub minute, which is pretty good. My pieces. Wait, what is that? That's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, 
Just let me feed my babies. Or take another parcel. Solidify. Yo, Ayaka, where are you going? Where are you going, baby? Oh, this could have been it. If it was just energy recharge, I would have taken it. Well, nothing we can do but go load up with some more resin. Okay, this time remember we're only to consume two fragile resins. I guess it doesn't matter if we consume three. It still ends up... No, it does matter. Because then it's not even. I think we'll be happy with whatever we get this one. If we don't get anything great, we'll just try again tomorrow, right? Ah, uh, but that feels so bad for me, because I want to use Mona on the Spiral Abyss today. I want to be able to test out her doll. Where are you going? That would have been a sub 50, but Ayaka decided to take a trip. Ugh, it's just not it. It's just not the piece I'm looking for. It's such a shame. I, I know I'm right there. If I could just get one of the pieces. Or even if I could just get like a, like a, uh, who, who would you call it? Even if I could just get eh, like, like, like a hydro piece, even that would be good. was a sub 50 that's good that's that's good that's really good wow, i need one of the artifact pieces that i need oh what is this i couldn't even claim it all right mona you're right back to where you're supposed to be i guess i guess we'll just enhance this a bit no matter what it can't roll into something on four because it has to generate another one. That's that's pretty bad. But it's a fine starting place I think, just so that I can open this up. Oh what is what is that? What is that? That's disgusting. I can't even believe it. 
How do I keep getting artifact sets that have absolutely nothing to do with... First of all, I only get Shimanalis. Just to start off my misfortune. Should be sub fifty. Yes, sir. Okay, come on, you gotta give me one. Disgusting! It's disgusting. Let us find shelter. Even her hydro piece is turning out to not really be that good. Keep crafting. Alright, that's literally all we can do. You gotta give me one. Give me one. Fifty. Nice. Oh, potential. We can almost work with that. We just needed to roll crit rate. And of course, I'm going to need high levels of RNG to go even further beyond. This lava churn. Not a fan of him. It's not sub fifty. Stinky. Okay, let's try out that new feather. Come on, if I could just go crit rate right, right here and now, this could be a strong artifact. Ah, oh, EM, that's not it. That's not what I need. Let me funnel a bit more into her. To her this thing. Guess we'll take it to 12. If this doesn't roll a single crit rate... Okay, that's huge, that's huge. Okay, we go next again. Who would have guessed? It's trash.
Oh man, artifact grinding really is the worst. It is the worst and nobody can convince me otherwise. Damn, well, that was really bad. Cause now I'm not even on the trial bonus square. Desperate. Who cares if I'm desperate, I guess. <sighs> Alright. I'm I'm just satisfied with that for now. Uh I really wanted to use Mona, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I guess I could just level up a feather of any kind. I could just level up it any further and just sell it later. I could still at least try to use Mona, even if she's like far and beyond not the artifact set that I want. Oh, big crit damage. I mean, if this rolls purely crit damage, then this feather can be saved. Oh, it's already a loser. Just take it all the way for now, though. What a loser this feather is. The only thing lucky about this feather is that it keeps getting double EXP bonuses. Bro, you're joking. It rolled crit damage twice, that's it. And I guess I'll just give her like some random ass attack one or something. <laughs> Goodness. It's making fun of me now. So if you wanted energy recharge, I'm going to give you energy recharge. Just not in a way that you're really going to like. Good God! <laughs> what is this? Is this almost okay? Probably not, but it's I guess it's fun. Just so that I could run her in the abyss today. It's honestly really funny to me. She's got a nice looking she's got nice looking ratios, to be fair. 
Okay, so I've never really used Mona, so I need to do a test run. Because I don't know. I don't even know how to play her. What would be a decent little Mona team? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't a clue, actually. Fighting the Pyros, I mean, I guess I just do... What if I literally just went all water just to give her... Just so that I could always have her, uh... Ultimate up? basically need to see what her crits are gonna look like on her ultimate. Her ultimate's the big deal. I don't think I was supposed to kill this if I'm just testing. Well, let me let me fight homeboy down here. Actually, he should be good for testing. Let me set on my traveling team to get there a little faster. Get on over there. Can't talk. How am I supposed to use Mona? Am I supposed to use her holdy or am I just supposed to use her winter? Secondly, how long does her Mirror of Doom last? It lasts 12 seconds, or it, uh, it's cooldown is 12 seconds, but I don't know how long it lasts of those 12 seconds. That way I have not a clue. Okay, let's change this up a bit, because... I need John Lee. A walk would be nice. Guess I'll try this. Yaka's alt before
And you know what? Let me um let me test him. Let me, let me reset him here because I kind of was just charging ultimate at this point. Let's, let's try him again from full hound. That is a lot of damage. Okay, let's uh Crumble. Let me get out of here. And reset it again. Cause let me try putting Bennett in the team instead. And just having the typical like I don't know, Bennett. Bennett with Mona combo for big damages. And put in Benny. Won't hold you back. Solidify. Psych, you thought. Okay, we're gonna refresh it one more time. Now let's try out the damage with this build. And with this with this run, I can I can feel I'm about to pop off damage wise. Honestly, I don't think I liked it as much as... I mean, it was nice. And it did just about as much damage as... Uh, it did just about as much damage as with... Jeez, I can't speak right now. It did just about as much damage as with Yelan, which I guess makes sense because Yelan buffs buffs the damage of the person who's on the field. Let's try again. I wasn't really supposed to activate. Okay, let's try this again. Shadows of fate, fate is upon you. Sunburst world, 
Mm. Actually, that once again didn't do that much damage. Let's uh, run back over here again. Let's try the Hu Tao instead. I feel like the Hu Tao is going to be really, really strong. Did I try even charge up their ultimates? I don't know if that's what I was supposed to be doing and then I forgot. Let's Actually, I hadn't even thought about it, but Mona's Hydro isn't even done. Let me just level it up all the way to and like with the other artifacts, if I get a better one, I'll just feed feed these away because I mean honestly this crit values are really trashy. That's not bad. Kind of saved, kind of saved to be honest. It's 26, it's nearly 30% crit value. Hey yo, let me take a look at her stats after that. That, that hurt. Crit values are pretty okay, all things considered. 84% hydro bonus. Like she might actually be a pretty good unit, surprisingly. Try this. I have a feeling that I'm going to absolutely shred him with this team. It's not bad. Could use some work still. But I could definitely see Mona's damage. I could feel it. Mona will highly contribute to the team. Okay, let's do some very basic test. Let's see how long the mirror lasts. Oh, not long at all, huh? How do I get her to activate the... I don't get it. How am I supposed to use her in a Morgana team? I don't have any clue how to use her. This is already basically done with all of this already. This. Oh. If I was to buy the battle pass, which is not off the table, what weapon would I get? Maybe black swords and feed them into a yakin. Alternatively, I could be deathmatch and feed it into Wu Tao. It's 
by hotels using deathmatch. I don't foresee myself really using a uh, very decent hunt on anybody. Not that I could really think of. I wish I could see what it would look like at 50, because I forget. I mean, at 90. Can't really think of any reason I get Serpent Spine. I don't really have any good Claymore users. Oh, and you know what's funny? You know what my, uh... Oh, I have mail. Who's this mail from? Bronx. Oh, it's birthday? Let's go. What's, what, what's funny is... Uh... The black sword... That... My Ayaka has. I originally bought it with the intention to use it for catching. Now, let me see something. I want to... I want to move. Let me move me. I feel like I would... I would be better down here, won't it? Eh, it feels kind of better. You don't get to see my chat, but I don't chat with anybody anyway, so it's like not that big of a deal. Huh. I know her talents still could stand to be better, but I need to read like a... Uh, let's read a guide together, shall we? Hide me for now. Okay, let's read this guy together. Let's let's get let's get involved with this. Okay, this is the catching main Mona guy. Let's let's figure let's figure out about her. Uh, we know all all these terminologies. Should use Mona. Always. <laughs> One of the most flexible supports in the game, these unpopular freeze teams with Ganyu or Yako. True. By its huge damage increase to your team, can hold uh, thrilling tales of the Dragon Sleeper. Yeah, but I don't. I'm using Woodson. Doesn't take much full time enabling quick swamp playstyles and conversions. True, because you just EQ. Oh, dang it. This is very important. Always remember that one. Requires some practice to get used to the alternate sprint mechanic. That's fun. You technically be challenging, I guess. Okay, well that's what I'm really hoping. All of her normal attacks are small AoEs that deal down to multiple enemies if they're grouped. I don't like doing jump canceling stuff, so I'm just not going to.
There are two ways to use Mona's elemental skill. Tap. Her elemental skill produces a panel of taunts on enemies. The Phantom deals 4 ticks of damage over 4 seconds, followed by a final instance of explosion damage. Her elemental skill causes Mona to teleport backwards, and the AoE taunt replaces her Echo Pumas location. E Hold has iframes, which can be used for dodging enemies. At the end of the explosion damage, Mona's elemental skill generates 3 to 4 Hydra elemental energy particles, although 3 particles is more likely. You get 3 Hydra particles on average. Note that the elemental skill must hit an enemy on the 4th tick in order for the particles to be generated. Okay. That's cool and all. One of the most technical elemental bursts in the game. Applies the omen damage percent buff on cast and illusionary. Er, Illus illusory bubble, which deals more damage when popped. The omen damage percent buff timer only begins when the bubble is popped. And with Tupa Flint, there are many ways to use it first. Ugh, whoa. I'll take it to 7, say less. Mona will submerge into water, and her surface will show by Hydra from the band, and Mona is not easy to damage. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's, uh, let's. Okay, I get it. Reject my guarantee and return to be. I'm on a banish and we're gonna end. Okay. Maximizing her damage capabilities from the perfect combo. Mona, Bennett, Seacross. Yeah, but I don't care. Man. This is the big wall of text, and this is what I'm scared of. This team primarily focuses on freezing enemies with Mona's Hydro and Cryo DP, it's usually Gang or Yaku, to render enemies immobile and permanently frozen. This playstyle focuses on extending the duration of Mona's Omen damage buff by keeping the enemies frozen in the bubble state. This prevents Mona's illusory bubble from bursting, allowing damage during this period to gain the benefit of Mona's Omen damage buff without starting the omen damage buff timer. You must apply cryo prior to casting Mona's elemental burst to freeze them in a bubble. Okay. So cryo first. The and the alt has to be the thing that freezes them. We are taking advantage of the fact that you can artificially prolong the buff by preventing the bubble from being bursted by damage. While frozen, the bubble lasts 6 seconds before the frozen status holds up and pops the bubble. However, with good elemental management by reapplying cryo and hydro consistently, one can extend the damage buff. But one can extend the damage buff can be extended for the whole duration of the bubble. This means that Mona can apply the Owen damage buff for a total of 11 to 13 seconds out of 15. In other words, with good ER and energy particle production, Mona can provide up to 60% damage at an 80 
um, I guess we'll say like average 80% uptime. The priority of Mona's build in free the priority for Mona's build in Freeze Cross is to have enough ER to reliably use her burst off cooldown, which I would if I could get a goddamn elemental sands or energy recharge sands, but I can't. For example, in the Ganyu Freeze team, typically Ganyu Mona went down the ER requirements for Mona can be very high since Mona primarily collects energy particles while off field. With one use of elemental skill by each team member, every rotation, three clear particles from enemies, Mona still requires 300% ER with one additional Favonius weapon trigger. Oh wow. Uh, So she needs between 200 and 300 percent? That's wicked. That's, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, team composition, babe comp. Yeah, we're not running babe. I don't have Kazuha, but I, I could- I would be down to try this. Uh, when I get Kazuha. My Sucrose isn't built. I could do this. What's so cool about this? Interesting. Freeze con. This is what I'm used to seeing. Oi. I want to I want to do this, but I don't have Kazuha yet. <sighs> I need to build up my Diona as well, I suppose. I know Diona's a huge benefit to me and my account. Maybe she'll be the next one. If ever I could finish Mona's goddamn artifacts. Artifacts, DPS, four deaths for you. Whatever. I think I got it. I think I figured it out. Maybe, yeah. Okay. I think I'm faded with my information here. Okay, so it says level this up because the duration goes up. Does go up. Well. Does it keep going up? No. The damage bonus keeps going up, though. That could be wrong. Man. Let's go at least check out Spiral Abyss, I guess. What do we really have to lose? After a character's element of skill hits the opponent's physical and process will be decreased. Cool. Wait, this is 
this is gonna really start to peak in this one month difference. I don't remember what, what changed. Oh, that's when I got Ayaka and Raiden Shogun. Before then, I was a weak little baby. Oh, give me, I was such a little, I was such a cute little baby. Okay, let's see, the help you do, the high getting. Okay, so I'll want the freeze team on the second half. Well, it kind of seems like I would want the freeze team on the first half. And I'll use national on the on this time. Okay, let's give it a try. Start. What's nice about national team now is I no longer have to use. Actually, I think I'm gonna abandon using. Wait, can I? Can I abandon using shangling altogether? Because I think I will. I think I'd rather this yep we will use these two with Mona Johnny I'll try it Inazuma shines eternal. Shoo-hoo! Shoo-hoo! Look at that. It's that bubble just chilling there. Start. This is long overdue. No touching. Decided by destiny. My apologies. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. rolled right into it. We try to get as much energy recharge as possible on her, so I could have her ult for the next rotation. And of course. Seeing this damage, there is no escape. Time 
Get in the hole. Oops. And then nine. Let me scry. Feels pretty good. I might stand to increase the damage that this freeze team needed. Not what I said didn't really mean anything, but. I accidentally clicked off. <laughs> yeah, so the thing that I always hated the most about uh, the national team before, with the one that uses Shangling, is I hate the fact that it has Overload, because I know Overload does a bunch of damage and that it helps break shields pretty quick, but it feels so obnoxious to have the small mobs just bounce around. Big damage. Okay, well, I can already tell you based off of this that my shit sucks on either team. I think I would rather have. Do well, I want to put Ayaka on team one? Maybe I have to go back to regular national for this side because I'm gonna need uh, Shangling's damage to help break his shield. I can't do double hydro into that. There's just no way. But uh, give me one minute. I need to run to the restroom.
Okay, I'm back. I gotta remember to put the BRB sign when I am stepping away. I always forget. Okay, so National Ayaka. Okay. I like that I can at least replace Xing Cho with Yelan in these teams. Not only does she get her ult more reliably than Xing Cho, but she seems to be a bit stronger too. With the fact that she buffs my active character's damage, which is going to help Raiden Shogun a fair bit. Yeah, let's give this a shot. I have my hesitations about this team. My reservations. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Killing killer churls. I feel like that took a really long time. That's big damage. I like it. I like it. Yelon does real damage. Time for take off. Oh, in the stars. The ice. Take flight. <laughs> I wasted all of their ults. <laughs> Not one of them has an ultimate now. Get them. Okay, that lifter was pretty easy. Now, how am I gonna beat this one with a team that has no wants? Born of ice and frost. Yahoo! Think 
you can get away. Shadows of fate. Take flight. This is long overdue. Coming such a lot. Commencer decided by destiny. That wasn't too bad. Pretty easy, if anything. And I don't have many Claymore users, so who cares about that? Oh, uh, I guess I do. If I guess this was that map that's telling me, hey buddy, please use Arataki Ido. And I guess I'll use. Ido in Team 1, and Ayaka in Team 2. Taki... Ito. This team should do well. Let me see, is there any... Looks like Cryo's gonna be, I mean, Pyro's gonna be fine here. Okay, I imagine this team should be A-OK. -okay. That's how my belief system works here. Go, big boy. Oh, my God. Oh, Edo. It does a big damage. Silencer. I like it. Mona is such a big contribution to the team. Big attack, please. Never underestimate a no. Going in! 
Never underestimate them, I don't need The fucking true, dude. He's, whew, he's the one and only after all. God damn. Yeah, Mona was the ticket. I've needed her. I've needed her in the team. Use the hell out of me. I hope that was enough time. I'm kind of thinking it wasn't, but... Time for take -off. For Rex Lopez. Access denied. Damn, I blew it. I blew it. Wait, this might still be doable? Doable at three stars. Let's go, baby. Okay. It seems like I should probably use Hu Tao on the bottom half. Which would be something like this. Where the top half, I'm thinking I'll use a typical freeze team. It's during this team where I realized I really should use this, should be Diona right here. 100%. I need to, I need to raise Diana. I think Diana needs to be the next one. I think it can't be Chi Chi.
Now nah, these things are tough. Think you can get away? Ruining everything! This is not going to be too fast. Oh, this is really not good. I don't think that was fast enough. Enough? We still got it, baby. Even though things were looking a little rough. For sure, they were looking a little rough. Okay, 80 elemental mastery is a big deal. Me. I ain't never breaking <laughs> through these things each day. Oh man. There's no way. I can't I can't do it. I need to have a pyro unit on the first half. Damn it. Damn it.
I should have known. Why would I be so stupid? I don't, it doesn't need to be pyro, but it sure as hell can't be early ice. Knows maybe I can use. I feel like I'm supposed to use an Edo team on the second half done. And then the hell out of me what I'm supposed to do on the first time. Well, I don't know. I think I was fine with my second half team. Maybe I need Edo on the first. Let me set this up. Because I was fine with this. It's this team that needs some change. Maybe I just go national on this team. I guess we don't really have too much choice, huh? But like the weird national, the purely overload national. You know, this looks strange, but it might honestly work. <laughs> I think Venti will help with the uh, with the Whopper Flower so much. That is some big fat damage. Maybe a bit overkill here, but maybe not. Okay. Pretty big. Second half perfectly fine. Now let's see if this is the big like change in damage. Sure is feeling immediately better. Time for take off. Everybody stand back. You're toast. Illusion shattered. Inazuma shines eternal. 
Okay. Let's take this opportunity to try to heal some people up. Okay. We actually made it to floor two, or to second half this time at least. I love that for us. Order guide you. Gather. Busted. Here comes the cat. Rain cutter. See? Oh, where am I? We actually could reach chamber three this time. Very different. Why? Did they intend for me to use Edo on the first one? I guess I'll just. I'm feeling like this might be better at this point. Like, what's the defense gonna get me? Like, a nothing, I think. Okay. There is no escape. Think you can get away? For now, I'll just have to do something like this. It's not bad damage, to be honest. We reached the other side pretty fast. It's just a matter of if I could do... ...this. God damn it. No, I'm fucking up the combo. Solidified. 
No, I'm not going to. Oh, who died? How did she die? No, this team's not it without her. How did we tell die? <laughs> Explain? We need this, I think. Shattered. Hey, that side's fast enough. It's this side that's the problem. God, Hu Tao. Hu Tao's so close to dying all the time. Mistake. Let me leave you a bird. Quietly now. Here comes the cat. I think I was so close to the three star, I think that was a two star. No. Oh well, I'm satisfied. <laughs> I was seconds away. I shouldn't have cast Zhong Liao. I know that was the mistake. Damn it. Oh, heck. To make such a foolish mistake in the most crucial moment. Oh well, I'm satisfied still. Let's see what we're working with now. Oh, that's 130, 140. More or less. Oh, baby, once Kazuha can come back out, I'm ready for it. I'll be ready for for him. Let me see. 
so let's just pretend like we're gonna start working with Dick. I'm pretty sure Diana wants Sackbow. But guess who has no Sackbows? I'm oh, just kidding, I got two right here. But that's that's all I got though. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it should be fun. Yeah, it's just for now, but... Yeah, I'll give her sack bow at some point. Yeah, okay, so... Right now she has... The worst artifacts. Like, just the worst. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're all bad. Every one of them is bad. But at the very least, she has four Maiden Beloved, right? So it's an HP, HP healing bonus. It's like, you know, it could be, it could be worse. However, could you imagine if instead of Maiden's Beloved, you used uh, whatever the new one was called, Ocean Hued Clam? Actually, let me look into that. Is that something that's a good thing to do? You see, where are people's Diona builds nowadays? Interesting. Very interesting. I suppose she probably could be okay with Favonius. It's just not her best look. Medium Beloved allows her to heal for more. But if I were to put her on Ocean Hued Clam, is that good? It probably could be okay, to be honest. So apparently, if I was to build Diona, which I'm not seeing any reason not to build Diona, I would probably want to 
put her on four piece noblish oblige nobly oblige or four piece maidens beloved Okay, so it looks like it is Noblesse Oblige, so... They say just go Noblesse, but just straight up four piece. Alright, hold on. No, but no bliss. No bleach. But just fucking HP. HP. So you probably don't have to worry too much about making sure her stats are busted. Sorry, I saw uh, my a notification on my phone that I just had to take a look at. Okay, so we have no breeze. I think we essentially. I mean, I could just rob Coyote. I mean, I, nobody's using this. I'll just use this. Who cares? And then I just need the biggest, the fattest. HP percent to HP percent and then energy recharge. That'll do pig. That'll do. Now let's enhance all of her stuff all the way to 20. Diana's luckily pretty cheap to make because this is already enough energy recharge to really Set her afloat. Now it's just leveling these baby artifacts. Same thing as before. It's so uh, this. Never double.
no please. We have a lot to feed like this. How interesting. This is actually a 20% crit value flower. Surprisingly. Don't care about that, to be honest. This... This is... What again? An attack circle. Just take that all the way up. Wow! HP, let's go. We have a lot of artifacts to feed in any case. Definitely aren't going to need most of these healing bonus. That's not what I'm do. That's pretty bad. I'm essentially just gonna keep healing bonuses that have energy recharge and elemental mastery. Because I don't, I can't really understand any other reason. Oh, it's Jade Lee. We still have like so many artifacts, but I guess. Airport, goblet. I'm down to just sell the circlets. Mm, that's nice. Let's do another one. Like, okay, this is not okay. Then. That dude, this Diana's stacked with elemental mastery. Yeah, well, okay, circlets, circlets can go. What can goblets? I don't know if I want to sell. It's like that's almost pretty good still. I'm gonna ignore that because that's pretty okay. Bro, that's not bad either. That's bad, though. That's bad. Bro, can I get any doubles one time for the one time? There's sands. Shit, Sam's though. What's this goblet? Oh, yeah, that can go. That can go too. Hey, what is this? Sam's? I think they're pretty gnarly. So, what's the goal here? With Dione. It's literally just press E 
Oh, nice two times. Thanks for that. Sheesh, that's not bad. Now I just gotta get one more. Nice, two times. Hey, yo, why is she getting so much energy recharge? Yeah, this is circle. It certainly don't need the well, I mean, I'll just hold on to it. It's like fine. This is not fine. These can go. Hey, yo, Diana. Curious. What's your crit rate looking like? Look at that energy recharge. God dang. Off of what? 15, 5, 16, 16, 15. Look, look at that. That's. I think she also gains natural energy recharge from her ascension, right? So I guess there's that adding to the, the fact. But still, goddamn, she. she a absolute powerhouse with the energy recharge. Honestly, she's probably fine as is. Just level her a bit. I could probably even see myself using her just, like I said, as she is. Let me go test some things out. Ah, uh, the only thing I wish about Diona, though... Where she is. Where is she? Diona. The only thing... Oh, I do... I have... I have a Diona C6? Oh, this is different. This... This could single-handedly be the difference for my uh, Freeze team. Wait a moment. I thought I didn't have her C6. Fucking useless, huh? So, because of that, for one, my Morgana team's finally gonna have some healing. I can't believe my Diana was just so ready to be done. Like, I could just level her for fun. We should have plenty of the stuff to level her. Cow lilies have so many of them. I could just level her to 90. Again, for no reason at all. I'm, like, happy with her talent levels. And I basically just have to, hmm. I don't know, should I just tap the shield or should I hold the shield? If I hold shield, it lasts about twice as long because of the 75% damage bonus absorption. But, that means I get less overall energy? I think. I don't know. It's honestly not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm 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 pleasantly surprised with how easy it was to get Diona into a usable state. I was working on her for all this time. I just for some reason I always thought I had her like C2 or C4, but not C6. Uh, was she on like Ayaka's banner way back when the initial release, or, or right in Shogun's? Because uh, I don't. I honestly don't remember getting her to C6. I don't. 
but I'm really glad about it. Oh, that changes everything. Dude, who, who's down to try one more time? You down to try one more time? I'm down to try. Maybe I can, maybe I can do this yet. Okay, so I used what, like... Where's Beanit? I think I used this on the first one. Oh wait, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Nothing changes. Wait a minute. I forgot. Because I can't really use... I mean, is there some reason I can't just use Ayaka here? What, what do you think it'll be okay to use Morgana on this? I wish I could just start from 4-3 because I don't want to have to fight the Mago Kenki again. I, I can't even do Morgana if I'm going to use Venti. Never mind. Eject. Alright, well that's... You know, all things considered, I'm quite happy with the progress we've yet again made today. We did a lot. We gave Mona some stupid-ass artifacts just to get her, get her going. It's, it's like, all things considered, good enough, I guess, for now. It definitely stands to be better, but... Fuck it. Good enough? Now, let's do our actual commissions. I realize we haven't even done those yet. Mission time. eating the sour candy. I try not to eat too much candy, but I'm a sucker for the sour. A lot of hydro units built. When I think I should spread out my team's diverse or my accounts diversity a bit. Doesn't need to be by much. But I do think I should spread it out just a tiny bit because it's like, what what really am I holding myself back? What unit? Look, I think the units I lack the most is Pyro, right? It's like, but it's not like there's too many Pyro units that I could realistically use like as supports. I mean, I guess I could make like, I don't know, uh, Tank Fae could be a, a fun one. 
I really liked her in the event, whatever the, the fucking uh, chasm event. Mm. Definitely can't be Shenyang. No way. Unless. Does she mostly do physical damage, or does she mostly do... No, yeah, it's all physical. No, forget it, I don't want it. I could make, like, a... Hmm. Emblem of Severed Fate Amber? I don't know it's not that bad, let me... Let me see if there's any Amber builds like that. Issue this fire arena, it only lasts for two seconds. Or is that because of like does it get higher at higher talent levels? Well, this is something I can't see, I have to just look this up at the point. Never gets any higher. That sucks. Is there look like, pyro characters that I'm missing? I don't really care for Toma to be good with. Bro, but half of the pyro units are main DPS. Main DPS, main DPS, main DPS, main DPS. And then, like, I have these three, but... It's like these three... Just these four, five... They don't seem like they could reliably proc Pyro off field though. Like the best one is probably Ching Lun. Well, I feel like with Amber, by the time I even cast my alt and switch to another character, They're already gonna be done, right? <laughs> done with her whole all. Shinyan's just awful. I love I love her, but Man is she awful. Can't play with Klee because she's the main DPS. The thing is, is, I don't need Pyro main DPS because outside of like getting Joy Mia just because she's fun, uh, they just don't beat Hu Tao. It's hard to beat Hu Tao. Her damage is insane. Just don't know. Down. Down. 
Google is just a me thing, but I guess not. It's probably how most people's accounts look. I'd figure. There's just no two ways about it. There's not a lot of pyro supports in the way that there's like Hydro or Cryo. I suppose one thing you could do though is just run a pyro support like Shangling and then hmm, run Shangling with like an animal character like Kazahan and let that be how it goes. That's how I would like to do it of course if I had him. This is where I'd put my Kazaha. If I had one! I don't want to like force Hoyoverse to do or think anything, but all I'm saying is if I don't see Kazuha on the next patch, please, I'm going to lose my mind. I can only save for him for so long. I'm fully prepared to have Kazaha. Not only am I fully prepared to have him, I'm fully prepared to take him straight to 90 the second he shows up. Watch. Watch this. So if I go... I use this website called... What is this website called? Dimension Center. So if I add character, go Kazaha, Karehara Kazaha. So, Uh, I suppose I could show this on the main screen real quick. This way you can see. Bang. So if... If, uh... I had Kazuha's stuff, this will take... this out... So I need 168 of these, which I have, 46 of these, 98 gold coins. This is probably the thing I lack the most of. But these are the most important things to pay attention to. Two crowns, six gemstones, 76 philosophies of diligence, and 12 gilded scales, correct? So, now see. Now see. So I have 175 Sea Ganodermas. So I'm fully ready on Sea Ganodermas without fail. Oops, that's food. Uh, I have 12 Gilded Scales, which is perfect. Uh, I'll probably be able to get more tomorrow, but because I'm going to use tomorrow as the boss farming day. I have the 46 Marionette Cores needed. Let me see, uh, philosophy, uh, diligence. I forgot how much it said. I think it said like 76. 
I have 88 of them. More than enough. I have 10 crowns remaining. I don't have as many gold coins as I'd like, but I have plenty of the lesser material to make the rest. So that's like totally fine. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that I needed? You remember? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh yeah, uh, uh, I have six of these. I'm, I'm totally ready to take them straight. At the very moment that I get Kazaha, very moment I get him. Not only look at this. Where's where's my traveler? Traveler. I have this sack sword ready and waiting for him at ninety. I have these artifacts that are ready and waiting for him as well. Look at this four viridescent with plenty of energy recharge crit and elemental masteries. Look at that. It's nice, right? It's nice. They're nice. This this could be better. But it's okay for now. This is still 20% uh, crit value for what it's worth anyways. This could be better, but it's a lot of energy recharge. And the elemental mastery, like, it's good. It's still good. Same thing with this. Could be better. For sure, absolutely. Especially because this is, like, my free set. But between just that, look at that energy recharge. It's huge. That'll be enough for Kazaha, I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely positive of it. Okay, let's level up these characters too. I forgot I mean, could do this to just get a free roll. Get my free room. I think I could do. No, I can't do it anymore. I could feel a five star coming pretty soon in my free rolls. It's coming. I think there's one more commission to do, or was that all of them? Nope, that's all of them. Okay, let's go to Monstead and turn in. And then I can't really think of anything else to do on Genshin today. Uh, beyond this, in any case. And we'll go turn that in a second. I immediately forgot with the memory of a goldfish. I'm a big bad water dragon and I have the memory of a goldfish. Oops. Press escape one too many times. Mm. Redeem these, that should be level 30. That's another free free roll. I know that there's a five star coming soon, I just don't know when. Alright. Well that's it for today's stream, I suppose. I can't really, like I said, think of anything else to do. Um uh, it, it, it seems like it to be honest. Look at how close I am to 58, shoot! Okay. So. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Maris Ray, Water Dragon Extraordinaire. I'd like to appreciate you guys for coming out here. I'd like to... to just standing around. ...acknowledge the fact that I wouldn't even be able to do anything of this sort without your guys' support. Uh... If any of you are new here, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel, like the stream, like the videos, like all my other previous videos. Follow me on Twitter, link in the description below, or down there underneath my my torso. 
Um, and hit the notification bell to be notified the second I interact with this channel at all. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. This has been Maris Ray, Water Dragon, signing out. Bye-bye.